awesome, some progress. Um, yeah, so uh, just replacing the foredeck. That's about 12mm uh, marine ply. Um, it was originally just covered with a membrane and then stuck down to the edge. That rubber trim went down to the side, so I decided just to um, take the wood right to the edge of the, the, uh, the glass of the hull and then glass over the whole lot. A couple layers of uh, chopped round mat. Uh, what was it? Uh, 450 grams per square meter. And then I put a slight uh, bow in the front deck here, like a 30 mil. Uh, it'll squidge down nicely just to shed the water and add a little more strength. And then, seeing as how this little cabby is uh, all fiberglass, I thought I might as well bond the cab to the foredeck to the hull. The same down here. Be nice and solid and waterproof, maybe even airtight. Apart from the windows, the windows are that's a bit, a bit how you doing. And uh, yeah, bulkhead. Um, I was going to add timber to screw it to, and then glass in the timber. But what I'm thinking is just cutting the the plywood a reasonable fit down the edge, um, cutting kind of vaguely circular or rounded edged hole, and then just glassing it in. Um, so probably coat the uh, coat the outside with a layer or two of uh, fiberglass, and then put it in, and then glass tape the edges from the plywood to the hull on the outside and probably the inside too, just to stop things uh, moving about. Because there isn't actually any ribs in this boat, and there's quite a lot of there's a healthy amount of flex. Awesome, bit more progress. Um, so got me uh, plywood on and then um, screwed the, the cab to the, the plywood and laid a couple of um, uh, layers of chopped strand mat over it. Give it a wee paint. And the paint surface, I put some uh, bit of sand in it. So it's a nice uh, kind of grippy texture on it, which is awesome. And yeah, I had to do a wee dance up there. Proved to myself how strong it was. Um, probably if you went uh, wave surfing in it as uh, the windows would come in and they probably there's air, air holes so the windows could use some attention still um, um, and I think I've come up with a solution for the um, connection mechanism for the for the two rudders now one here and one here probably what I'll do is I'll cut a hole here and put a tube up that runs up the middle here and comes out the seat the tube will run straight up and out kind of at an angle at the end of the Tube, well, in the tube I'll put a bar down and at the end of the bar there'll be like a dog leg that'll move like that and then just a straight bar from here to the two rudders and the top of the bar will be a, like a flat section and on the flat section there'll be the tiller arm that'll move either way which should be good so I might need to buy some nice stainless links or something but just um, uh, make it strong just now um, probably use one of these uh, use the bar from there, the, the tube, just stick that through the hole and then maybe make a, a kind of union plate that will bolt to the GRP at the back, that uh, <coughs> hole to come through for the, uh, the tiller rod. Hi. Ideas coming together nicely. There's one thing that's bothering me, this cab isn't on square, it's kind of a bit of a meh, yeah, kind of wish I'd tweaked it but I didn't. Um, so it's on the, way, the same way it was, I had to take it off to get the, the rotten wood out. Um, but it's like a kind of, there's a good 80 mil discrepancy between the backs here. Um, I noticed it when I measured from the, the transom up to the start of the cab to try and square it on. And then what was happening when it was square at the back here, it wasn't, it wasn't central at the front. So I don't know what's, maybe the, maybe the hull isn't the same shape or something, I don't know. But anyway, it's central, which I think is the most important thing to distribute the weight over the center line evenly. Um, so it's good about that. It'll, it'll bother me until I figure it out. And it's now set in glass. Hey ho, such is life. Nothing's perfect. Um, and then, yeah, for the the, uh, the stay connections, what I think I'll do is just um, drill straight through this. Just to bolt through with an eye on top through here and then maybe add a, like a large washer or a stainless bar or something here just to spread the load over this corner because that corner's 
pretty strong profile and this uh, this is now bonded to there so it's it's well solid which is awesome um, and there's still the uh, the rubber trim to put back over the top of this and we'll be good um, for this front doofer whatever you call it but for holding up the anchor I'm going to print it a, print it a pulley in here with some bearings in just because I can bolt that down I'm not entirely sure how to seal um, I had to seal through uh, through uh, through hole bolts, especially in the deck here. Like I was able to paint that up, and then bolt it through with stainless. Rather than how to seal the um, stainless to the deck, here underneath it's kind of a bit. I guess it's a lot of sicker flex or something. Just get it set up, sicker flex down, and then bolt it down. And the sicker flex will squirt out the sides or something. Not sure. I guess we can always uh, can redo it if it starts to leak. Just using the um, the old bulkhead as a, a template for the new one. We'll just cut out this bottom bit that profiles the hull and the points to where it gets above the hull. I'll just um, I'll just offer it up and then draw around the outside and then delete a little bit just to so it fits inside. It should be good. Right, let's get chopping. Cool. Just picking away at it. So I got my uh, bulkhead uh, cut out and given it a coat of uh, chop strand mat. Probably just one is probably enough. It's just, a, just enough to help the outer half send it back to glass and then put some uh, glass over there down onto here. Just stick it all in nice. Um, roundish door, I like it, looks good. And that'll add a lot of uh, rigidity sideways. Um, might add a little drain hole somewhere with a uh, a pipe in it with some kind of bung to let the water out if any water gets in there. Um, cut a hole in my boat and I have a plan on how to fix it. Um, so this is where the, uh, the centre board is going. Um, so what I'll do is put a, like a piece of wood in there and behind a nice unrottable piece and then screw it down and then glass over the top. I'll, I'll bevel the edge, sand them so it takes a nice the glass goes all the way down and obviously cut this central section out too from underneath and then glass the whole lot in so it'll be the first the first layer on the outside I'll uh, reseal the um, the flotation in the in the deck so that'll all be sealed and then I'll add a, a plywood box that comes up from that and what I'm doing is uh, just uh, coating the plywood with two layers of fiberglass so two layers of fiberglass either side of the glass one there one there with a piece of wood there that's also coated in fiberglass uh, which means there'll be glass on the inside and the outside because it's going to be like a, a moon pool there. The um, centre board is going to come, come down the middle. So I want to seal the middle bit and the outside. And then, what is the, and then I can just glass from the floor up the side of the box on either side and up the back too. And then I'll put the, uh, the box head in afterwards and screw it to the box. And we should all be good. Um, uh, the wood should be encased in... Uh, fiberglass and should last a while. Imagine even if water does get in it's going to reduce the amount of oxygen so it's going to rot slower. I don't know, if only would, somebody would invent something more permanent than wood that, you, that fiberglass sticks to. I was kind of playing with the idea of um, like an ABS lattice print. So you could print uh, an ABS something with holes in it that would take the fiberglass. I don't know, random idea of the day. Nice, thanks Printy. Thank you. 
<laughs> That's pretty darn smart. I like it. <laughs> awesome. Um, so nice. Ben's been working hard to check out this amazing end card. So uh, designed to uh, to something uh, to watch it. It's obviously going to be fairly tight. So check out all the nice links. Um, you can figure out what that ball does in the corner. Uh, and definitely check out that uh, little rectangular red blob with the play button. It says subscribe. Hopefully, also, fairly stable, not too tippy. Too easy.